welcome to another video in which we will talk about what is a theoretical framework and how do we use it in research. So in order to understand the theoretical framework, first we need to understand that it is made up of these two words, theoretical and framework. That means first we need to understand what is a theory, what is a framework and then we will talk about what is a theoretical framework. So. When we look at the simple definition of a theory, a theory is a relationship between two things. So, relationship between two things can be called as a theory. For example, smoking has a negative impact on health. So, health is one thing, smoking is the other thing and we are trying to establish a relationship between smoking and health. This can be a simple definition of a theory or this can be a simple example of a theory. Another definition can be that a theory is an if and then relationship between two things. So let's look at this example. If smoking will increase, then health will decrease. So it becomes an if and then relationship. Another definition of a theory can be that a theory is a relationship between two variables. For example, people who smoke more will have weak health. So in this case, we are calling these things as variables. And why we are calling these things as variables? Because if we start collecting data from person to person about how many cigarettes does a person smokes, it will vary. For example, one person will be smoking let's say two cigarettes, somebody will be smoking zero cigarettes, some 10, some 20. So the idea is that when we will start collecting data, the data will vary about smoking. The same way if we start collecting data about health, some people will have weaker health, let's say it is one out of 10. Some people will have very good health, which is 10 out of 10. So this is also a variable. So theory is simply a relationship between two or more things. Now let's just understand what is a framework. A framework is defined as a structure supporting or containing something. And here you can just understand that this is a framework that we are talking about. For example, there are two boxes and then there's an arrow which is showing that smoking has uh, let's say negative relationship with health. So what we are doing is we are putting a theory which is this one which is a relationship between two things into a framework. A framework is what? It is simply a boxes and the arrow which is representing that smoking has a negative relationship with health. So in simple words if you put a theory into this kind of structure or framework with boxes and arrows, it is known as a theoretical framework. Why do we call it theoretical framework? Because it's a framework which is containing a theory in it. So if you read this statement, smoking has a negative impact on health, or if you look at this uh, framework, they mean the same thing. So when you are putting the theories into certain frameworks, they are known as theoretical frameworks. Let's just look at one more theoretical framework. They can be very complex and they can be very simple. So in this theoretical framework, what we are doing is we are putting number of relationships in one framework. So here it is very easy to understand that formalization has a relationship with innovation. Formalization has a relationship with employee creativity. Employee creativity has a relationship with innovation. So in, in this theoretical framework, we are trying to establish three or about four uh, theories. But the, when theories are presenting in the framework, that is known as a theoretical framework. And here we also develop our hypothesis and then we make our framework. So this is what we got from the literature. And then we actually, we are trying to come up with a theory, with a relationship. And when we present our theories or relationship in these boxes and with this arrow, that becomes our theoretical framework. Thank you very much.